Today is about making the impossible seem possible. How do you put someone in here, or a water bowl, or a fishbowl? It's surprisingly not complicated. You only need a jar, bottle, as I said, fishbowl, anything you can see through, and the camera. One thing you have to make sure of is that this is clean and you don't have like fingerprints or... All right, let's get to it. So you want two images. One, you want the image of the jar, bottle, whatever you want to work with. And then you want the image of the subject you want to put inside the jar. Let's try to extract the subject to put it back in there. There are a few different ways to do that. I like to duplicate the layer and then I take this quick selection tool and basically draw around. As you can tell, it's taking more than I want it to take, but don't worry, we'll get that fixed. I want to deselect those areas that I still want. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna press Alt, keep it pressed, and then just paint over these areas. This is going to deselect those areas. Here I want the air two. Now you want to refine the edge. What you want to is smooth that out so the edges are not too crisp. You'll take care of that later. Now, have in mind, we have selected the outside, not the subject itself. So now what we need to do, now you want to go with the selection and inverse because you want the dancer or the subject, you don't want the outside. Inverse. You want to press Command C to copy and go to the image, start new layer, command V to paste it, and here we go. All right, now again, same concept. Now I'm selecting what I don't want in the picture, which is all this gray area, and delete. Now, we want to scale that. Command T to free transform, Hold down the shift key and just drag this to the scale you want it to be. If I don't press the shift key, this happens. Now you see that this foot is on top of the hand. Let's take care of this. Now we want the subject to look like it's inside the glass. You want to apply a mask on this one. Select the brush tool and make sure the black color is selected. Zoom in, bring the opacity of the layer down so you can still see the background layer. Select the mask and start brushing away those areas that should be hidden. And I think that's it. All right, bring the opacity up again. Good. Let's clean this up. Brush it off, brush it off. Again, I would spend more time on this to really, really get into detail and clean that up. I'm just gonna do that a little bit faster for you guys. Now, we want to bring the subject behind the glass. We want to bring the opacity down just a little bit because if something is behind the glass, it wouldn't be as sharp looking. The colors wouldn't be as bright. Now you want to think the sides of the glass curve. So the image is going to be a bit more distorted or less clear on those edges. We also have this light reflection here, a light reflection there, that we want to add in front of the subject. Now we want to match the light source of this picture with the image here. So it looks like it's been taken at the same place at the same moment with the same light. So the light is coming from there, from behind, right? And as you see, these fingers behind the glass are lit. So what we want to add is some light up here. You can do that in multiple ways. I want to apply curves mask. Now to sync it to only affect this layer, I'm going to press this button here. So it just affects the layer below. I want to bring this down a little bit on the darks, bring the highlight a little more intense. Go back to this layer mask, select the brush, again we're in black, bring the opacity down of the brush, 
quite important. Otherwise you're gonna brush away everything. Then I'm going to just brush away these little sections so it looks like the glass is in front of it. Now we want this little highlight too. So we just brush it a little bit. So this highlight affects the whole area. Now a very important part too, you see this little ridge here of the glass. I'm going to follow this line starting to look like it's behind the glass already. Now we want to add some more light. What we can do is make a new layer here. Select the brush, color white, opacity down. And basically now you're going to paint these highlights with color white. I want this to affect a little bit the arm too. You can also play around with some brushes. For example, I have this brush, like that. Bring the opacity down. Now apply a layer here too. And let's brush away, that's like a normal brush. Brush away all this because obviously it would not be here. So now it kind of looks like the light is reflecting on the glass and over the subject. And that's what we want. It's already starting to look much better. Now I think the contrast of the subject is too harsh. I'm going to add a gradient map. That's not what I want. So I'm going to select the black and white one. And what I'm going to do is bring the opacity of this layer down. See, that is before, that's after. I think that's a much better, similar look to the other picture. It's still too dark, in my opinion. Next, what I want to have is all these in one layer, but I'm not going to merge all the layers I have. I'm going to press Shift, Command, Option, and then N for new, and then keep holding Shift, Command, Option, press E, and this makes a copy in one layer of all we have. Now we have everything in one layer. I'm going to make a gradient map and select this black and white and just bit by bit add it again. And I think 9% will do. It's not much, but it'll do the job. Sweet, and we're done. See, it's not that complicated. Take your time, play around with things. The first time might not work perfectly, but if you follow these steps, shouldn't be a problem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll happily answer all of them. I hope you found this tutorial useful and you make awesome stuff. I'll see you next time.